Well, Texas is taking border security into its own hands. It's called Operation Steel Curtains. You see those shipping containers lined up. That's in a Texas border town, all in an effort to slow illegal crossings. News Nation correspondent Kelly Meyer is live for us in Washington. So, Kelly, this is all part of an even larger undertaking that is being called Operation Lone Star. Yeah, good evening, Nicole. That's right. This is all a part of the Texas governor's plan to lower the number of migrants coming in, a direct response to what he calls President Biden's lack of action at the border. As you said, he's taking matters into his own hands, calling on members of the Texas National Guard and Department of Public Safety to place shipping containers along the river in South Texas to keep migrants out here. Texas Governor Greg Abbott saying in a tweet, Texas is securing the border. Abbott, who's up for re-election next year, has been at odds with the Biden administration for halting the completion of former President Trump's border wall. The president officials believe migrants are making it through patches of the uncompleted wall. Some officials in Texas say they can't keep track of the number of migrants who are crossing the border illegally. The migrant group making its way currently to the U.S., originally thought to be 10,000 strong, is now at about 2,000 migrants. And Nicole, today we asked Customs and Border Control for how they're preparing for another migrant surge. They tell us their response is based on comprehensive analysis and not on any single report. They add that they stand ready to address any potential increase in migrant encounters. Nicole. All right. So, Kelly, before we let you go, we know a Texas senator at the border right now. What can you tell us about his visit? Well, there is uh, Texas Senator John Cornyn is now at the border. He's meeting with those in the community, asking them what solutions they can come up with here for this problem, what they need to see and how they're being affected. Uh, we also have a News Nation reporter on the ground from our Austin station, KXAN, reporting there for us. We'll have more details as they come out. Nicole. All right, Kelly Meyer, we appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.